Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Fallout 4 meets Life is Strange. We had some adventures in the south in the previous episode. Chloe was uh, exploring the southern part of the wasteland uh, below the Sanctuary Hills. And today we will try to explore even further. Hopefully we will find some interesting quests and uh, some people we can help or some riders that we can kick their asses. So let's just start without any further ado. We have in plans for today uh, exploring the southern part of the wasteland uh, below uh, Sanctuary Hills and we will try, if we have enough time, to prepare our first outside base in a Starlight Drive-In. Because we prepared that location, we've cleared that location from the mobs last time and hopefully we will be able to set up our temporary base of operations there for the time being and later we will be able to upgrade it add additional buildings and stuff but first of all we will uh, try to explore the southern part of uh, the wasteland uh, even further because as you might remember from the previous episode we were looking for a specific uh, issue of a magazine that would allow Chloe to get a double amounts of meat from all killed animals and this is especially important in terms of survival mode uh, because we need to make sure that we have enough uh, healthy food that would uh, replenish Chloe's health and that would make her less prone to some illnesses, parasites and other unpleasant, unpleasant stuff. Okay, so first let's see what we can cook now before we head out to... Okay, so we can we can cook some mole rat chunks. It does not sound very tasty, but what choice do we have? So I'm sorry, Chloe, that you'll have to eat stuff like this. I know that this is not your favorite eggs and bacon, or not even Belgian waffles, but unfortunately I haven't seen any Belgian waffles in, in Fallout 4. Okay, so let's see... Uh, just let's see... Sorry, I, fo I forgot where we can... Okay, so it's... Uh, yeah, I forgot where we can find the current time of the day. So it's 8.13 p.m. So I think that we'll just get some sleep and we will head out first thing in the morning because it would be rather useless for us to try to travel at night of course it would be more it would be more immersive in terms of the atmosphere of the game but i really don't sorry i really don't want us to i really don't want us to accidentally stump into a place where we can see some death clouds or other stuff because we haven't seen them due to low light situation okay so first of all let's okay i think that chloe is properly hydrated our faithful companion dog meat is ready so let's just consult our map real quick so as you know last time uh, we have been exploring this part of uh, the wasteland because i remember that the location i was looking for the location where we can obtain this additional uh, magazine that would enhance Chloe's ability to gather uh, food, gather meat, uh, was located somewhere at the south part of the map. So we will just head up straight south and we will see what awaits us in this area here. And later, if we are lucky enough, we may uh, take up the quest in Oberland Station because we have another quest from the Minuteman storyline there. Uh, we need to ta talk to settlers at Oberland Station. Uh, I can tell you that the Oberland Station is one of my favorite places in the Commonwealth. 
uh, because uh, it is a very small settlement, it's not very big, but it allows us to have a really nice defensive uh, structures there. So we can basically we can very easily uh, set up a really nice defensive structure there which is important because uh, there are quite often some raiders or ghouls that are attacking that settlement so it is important to have proper it is important to have proper uh, defenses there oh sorry i haven't i i see that i haven't dumped all the unnecessary junk here so we need to clear Chloe's inventory before we head out of the Sanctuary Hills. Okay, let's just see. Forty-five. Okay, so we can we can take all forty-five rounds. We don't have anything that works with 308 rounds, so we can leave it. And let's just store all the junk. Okay, and Dogme, do you have something on you? Hey. Yep, okay. So we need to take everything that Dogmeat has on him too, except of red bandana, of course, because we we want him to keep the red bandana. He looks cute in, in red bandana. Okay, so let's just drop all this stuff here real quick. Okay, so now we need to save again, so in case we are dead, we do not need to repeat all the equipment sorting infection come on <sighs> that's awesome that we have an infection i have no idea why probably from the lack of sleep so do we have some Okay, so this herbal stuff probably did not heal our infection. No. Okay, so we are taking periodic damage from infection. So it means that what awaits us now is another visit to Covenant. Because this is the closest place where we can find uh, a doctor. This is the closest place where we can find a doctor who can uh, cure our situation. Yeah, so change of plan, guys. So we will head to Covenant, and then from the Covenant we will just explore this part of the wasteland. Of course, I could have just reloaded the previous save, but but to be honest, it's a bit more realistic that way, even if I'm not a big fan of it, because we just shouldn't reload save randomly sorry because we we don't like what's going on so so i think that we can just move forward we can just move forward and we can make sure that chloe gets all the necessary help So Covenant is not that far from here, but it requires us to travel a small part of Wasteland that can be a bit dangerous, ex especially in terms of random encounters with some raiders or other, or other uh, hostile characters. But we can gather some flowers. Yeah, I know that I told you about it. Yeah, infection spreads. Yeah, I know that it spreads. So unfortunately, we do need to go to that doctor because we will start receiving periodic damage very soon. Yeah, so I told you, I told you many times that the one thing that is especially 
the one thing that is especially uh, significant in my playthroughs is just that I love gathering stuff. So uh, when I was playing Skyrim, I basically was traveling with the average speed of one mile per hour, not because I was so slow, but because I was collecting everything, every single flower, every single plant, fung, and uh, any other stuff that I was uh, able to get my hands on uh, in Skyrim. So that's why it took me so long, but it was awesome idea, awesome way to basically you can take it, yeah, we can take it. It was awesome way to explore the area and just to see what we can just to see what we can encounter in this area. So basically it it gave me an opportunity to learn about Skyrim real quick and about some interesting places in there. Uh, it does not work that well in Fallout because especially in survival mode, because as you yeah, so we, we started getting periodic damage from infection, so we need to eat something so it does not work that good it does not work that good with it does not work that good with uh, Fallout 4 in survival mode because we can get killed way too easily so this is why in Fallout 4 it's better to stay on a beaten track and not try to wander too off to the sides or well maybe if you have some power armor you can wander but basically it is not very good idea to wait where are we okay so we are close we are close to starlight so i think that we will sleep here and save our game just in case something bad happens when we are in covenant or nearby yeah, so basically you are encouraged to wander off in the Skyrim and just see what you can when you, what you can discover, but in Fallout 4, especially in survival mode, it, it does not work that good. So in survival mode in Fallout 4, uh, basically you can easily get killed when you are too nosy. So it would not be a favorite place for Max, I think, because she does like... What the hell is that? Stunted Yao Guai. Okay. I think that we can try to handle it. It might be good. Okay, it was a terrible idea. It was a terrible idea. Go back, go back, go back. Shit, 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 shit. Sorry. I did not think that... Through... Okay. Yeah. Okay, so at least good news is that we saved in Starlight. So we do not have to repeat all the journey from Sanctuary Hills. Yeah, but that was the very example of me being nosy and getting killed too quickly. So I was saying that it would not be a perfect place for Max because as we know Max likes to basically loot everything or just check everything. As we know from Life is Strange. Well, she herself maybe does not want to, but most of players that play using her character definitely want to, to check everything which makes her a bit nosy too. But I don't think that it's something bad because ultimately Max just takes care of everything and she she wants to make sure that everything everyone is alright, that everything is alright. So that's why she can do a little snooping in Dana's room or in Kate's room, which helps her tremendously later on. So I think that there is nothing bad in that. There is nothing bad in Max being a bit nosy because she she uses all the knowledge that she gathers to, to improve the situation, to make things better. Okay, guys, so this is the Covenant. This is the village where we need to get. This is the village where we need to get and the closest road will be through the lake. 
I hope that there is no Kraken or some other stuff in it. Yeah, of course it is radioactive. But we can get rid of all the rats when we visit the doctor in Covenant. So it won't be a problem for us. Let's gather some plants. Welcome to Covenant. I, I really wish, guys, that you had seen Chloe taking this test that is required to to get into Covenant. Unfortunately, I was not recording that part because I wanted just to get her healed as soon as possible, so we can so we can uh, so we could uh, take uh, our quest in a Corvega assembly plant. Okay, I don't remember where was. It's good to see a new face. I don't remember where was this doctor here. Was it here? Hmm. Okay, I need to find the doctor. I don't remember what was her name, or his name. No, I think it was it was it was a she. Yeah, this is. Here we've got the doctor, Doctor Patricia. Okay. Yeah, take a look at me, Doc. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? Uh, yeah, basically, cure rats. Too much radiation. I feel sick. All right, let's flush your system. Yeah, the, this needle does not look very good. All done. Any other complaints? Yep. Mm. We need to cure our heart. Curtain all over, Doc. Hmm. I don't need to brace those fractures, apply some cream for the burns, a few sets of stitches. Well, better get to it. Okay. All done. Any other complaints? I'm pretty beat up. Huh. You look fine, but, uh, oh, wait, yep, that's gonna need to be set back in place. Let's get started. Done. Now, is there anything else bothering you? No other complaints. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? Okay, so let's see if we... Okay, yeah, so... We no longer have infection, and thanks to herbal antimicrob antimicrobial, sorry, sorry for my pronouns, we have a temporary resistance uh, for infections and parasites, which is handy, I think. Enjoy your stay. Thank you, ma'am. I will enjoy my stay. Well, we won't be staying here for too long, but let's just. Let's just find a bed and save real quick before we can venture. Okay, I think that we might have gotten an infection because of uh, too little sleep. So now we will sleep for 8 hours, because I think that I remember that if one was uh, sleeping for two... Uh, yeah, if one was sleeping... Oh, okay, okay, so this is, this is water, okay. Yeah, so basically... Mm, okay, so sorry, he, he, to he told us something? I have no idea why. Di what did he say? So I just say that we are traveling nope. through. I'm just passing through. My advice is pass through sooner than later. Whoa! You know anything about Stockton's caravan? No, I know no, nothing I, about it. I can't say that I do. I just can't catch a break. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. I've got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. Hmm. Okay, so this is quite a handy quest. We could try to persuade him to give us caps up front, but I'm not sure that Chloe's charisma is... 
Well, what do we have to lose? If I help you, I want something up front. If I have your word, you'll help. I'll chip in 50 Oh, okay, so it worked. It worked. So it's good for Chloe. Yeah, I think that we can accept the deal. This Sounds might be fair. interesting. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. I surely will let you know. Okay. So we have another quest. We have another quest. Let's just... Human error. Ask Dan about synths. Search destroyed caravan for clues. And search covenant for clues. Okay. So we can do just that. Maybe we can talk to the settler. All of us should be thankful for being here. Okay, I don't know why, but maybe yeah. Okay, let me just sleep for another or let Chloe sleep for another couple of hours because we, we need daylight to start looking for clues. Okay, 7 a.m. Chloe is well rested. Let's get to it. Public terminal. Is there anything in public terminal? Hmm. Okay, so they are friendly and they welcome everyone. And it is a bit suspicious, it's a bit creepy, so. So yeah, basically basically it it rubs me wrong way to be honest, because it reminds me a bit about uh, that settlement from the Walking Dead TV series. I don't remember what it was called. But you know the one with the governor so it's just a bit too uh, impossible for me that they are all friendly and they they are welcoming everyone and yeah our secret ingredients are shared vision hard work and old-fashioned hospitality yeah i'm not buying it at all since the walls have come up, we've hosted more and more traders. Yeah, but basically they require you to take a test on the entrance. Yeah, the safe test. Yeah, so theoretically the safe test is about safety, but uh, the guy at the gate told us that it was about synths. So I think that there is more to that. Definitely there is more to that. Hello Deezer, how are you? Hey Deezer. Would you like some free lemonade? Yeah, I can I'll take some. Enjoy! I'm looking into a lost caravan. Can you help? You know what would be great for a lost caravan? Diesel's lemonade! Voted <laughs> best beverage in Covenant three years straight! Yeah, I think this is the only beverage they have here, so... What's in the lemonade? Diesel's lemonade is made of goodness! Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments, all in one cold glass. Try it and enjoy or take advantage of the money back guarantee. I'll take some. Limit one per customer per day. Oh, okay. So we didn't, so we didn't learn anything about this caravan. So let's keep searching.
Okay, I think this is just generic folder, so it does not contain any information. But why the hell would someone... Why the hell would someone have handcuffs in such a friendly, nice environment? This, this is a bit disturbing. Is there anything here? Okay, can we take this office key with us? Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sure that you would not want to see Chloe stealing stuff, but I guess that we that it would be really useful for us to get that key. That's some serious security. Maybe there's another way around. Okay, so we can't so we can't access office terminal. We can't access office terminal. Investig sorry, duck me, do not get in my way. Investigate. What do we have? Dealing with depression? Twelve stages of grief. And some self-help books. Quite the library here. Okay, there are some test tubes. I don't know what they are for, but I'm not sure th there will be anything useful in us stealing them. This cell means business. Okay, so apparently this is where they keep some prisoners. I don't know why would they have prisoners in the first place, but I guess this is where they would be kept. Okay, let's just save the game real quick. And do we have anything? Okay. Sorry, we will just relieve them from some items that may be not useful for them, but will be definitely useful. They will be definitely useful in our bases. Trash can. Join the railroad. What it is? Join the railroad. Inspect. Oh, it's hollow tape. Okay, can we play it? Wake up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry, we'll find you. Okay, so someone called Desdemona wants us to... wants us to... join the railroad. Hmm. To be honest, it's a bit... I think I might have... Yeah, I think I remember some, some woman in, in the railroad. But basically I have... I have only finished uh, Fallout 4 once, the full storyline, till the main quest, and it was uh, when I was sided with the Institute, so I do not remember any, much details about the other uh, factions here. Uh, I think there is this Railroad and the Brotherhood of Steel, I suppose. Coffee, yeah, let's take all coffee pot, hot plate, everything. We can take everything. Fancy lads, desk fan, gold watch, bubble gun, dog bowl. Oh, we are carrying too much. Okay, so dog meat, you will carry your own dog bowl. You will carry your own dog bowl and some other stuff. Okay. 
Can we see what is here? Are there any hidden stuff in here? No, except of the turret machine gun, there is nothing here. But we can take this gas canister and this oil canister. Yeah, we might not be uh, entirely Blackwell Ninja, but we are doing our best to. Hmm, sleeping bag. Hmm. Looks like a traitor left a bedroll. No marks on it, so no way of telling if it's from Stockton's people. Okay, so it might have been from that missing caravan, but it can be just from uh, anyone else, basically, so there is no way for us to tell. There is nothing in the mailbox here. We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. Steer clear of those, and we'll get along just fine. Mr. Fitzgerald. People that break our rules are asked to leave. It rarely happens, though. We get along just well with passers-by. Like I always say, give someone a free meal, a safe place to bunk up, and some civility. And they'll be all P's and Q's in no time. Okay, so he wasn't entirely helpful. Maybe this this guy will be. Hey. Well, hello, stranger. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our doors always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house, and you should visit Penny's store. Hmm. I want to say that it's too good to be true, but I'm one hundred percent sure he won't tell any important uh, information so i just pretend that i uh, that i appreciate it i appreciate the hospitality for people like you anytime you might want to stay clear of mr dan i've had some complaints about him thanks for the warning just being a good host you have a good stay now okay now let's save game and ask him again Okay, where did where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, okay, he's here. Jacob. I hope you enjoy your stay. Can I ask some questions? Ask away. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Is this about those Stockton people? I've told Mr. Dan many, many times. We never saw them. Hmm. Maybe I'll try to confront him. Does Covenant have a problem with synths? Shouldn't everyone have a problem with synths? But there's none of those things here. Rest assured. Hmm. Yeah, we can go all the way. What Dan the hell? says your people are lying to him. If you ask me, I think Dan's been baking in the sun too long. The only secret we got here is what's in Deezer's lemonade. And if you can get Deezer to tell you, you just got to fill me in. As the robot says, it's delicious. I have to go. You have a good day. Okay, so we only learned that we basically... Oh, that honest Dan... Yeah, so basically we haven't learned anything useful. But maybe we can try to find... Oh, safe report. I haven't seen it before. Save version 11.3 report. 28% failure rate. Delta minus 1%. Need more data samples. Unnamed travelers, one failure locked, 
slog goes one failure definite false positive Stockton caravan two failures resolved holy shit okay so they did went into they or at least they tried to enter the covenant because they took the safe test but they failed what does our R means Boyd one failure hmm. okay I'll take that with me because this is some this is some strange stuff can I ask him about the safe well, hello Jacob I hope you're enjoying your stay no, I can't, I can't ask him about this safe test report. Well, I guess that's because we steal it. We stole it from him, so... Tell me about yourself. But maybe he can tell us sure about Benny, himself. Dalia and everyone's got what they need. It's a full-time job to keep our little community afloat. But someone's got to do it, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, so it's really strange. We have very few leads here. We can venture outside and look for the place where this caravan got lost. One day Meaning no thanks, but I've got a lot of work to do. Good day. Pardon me. Ted. Anybody else in town would be happy to talk to you. Okay, so they are not very talkative. Hmm. Okay, I need to find another way. Enjoy your stay! Penny, you here to shop? Do you have time for a few questions? For you? <laughs> Certainly. Okay, let's start with something unsuspicious. The town looks really nice. How'd you manage that? Oh, thank you for noticing. Well, the men folk would say good old-fashioned elbow grease keeps Covenant as the prettiest place in the Commonwealth. But between you and me, I think shrewd trading may play a big part. <laughs> Does Covenant have some sort of problem with synths? Thank God we don't. None of those machines are in here. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot, if you ask me. Hmm. Okay, let's try to gossip about him. Definitely. He has such an attitude. I know! He's so smug. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. Okay, I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but let's try to butter her up. Right? He should be thankful you let him in. Don't get me started. Still, got a lot to do. <sighs> you have a great time. It was so close. Okay. But maybe we can save and try again. Because we really did get some info at last from her. Okay, I still can't I still can't remember where okay, so this is where the this is where the beds are. Lethargy. Okay, so we've slept for too I hate this place. We've slept for too long during this day. Enjoy your stay! Okay, let's try to talk to her again. If not, I'm sure you've got places to go and all. I hope you've enjoyed your stay. 
Do you have time for a few questions? Well, I don't know. I'm awfully busy. Make it quick. People here are really friendly. Why is that? Everyone that passes the test is welcome to visit. But we are particular on who can live here. And having a positive attitude is important to us. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Oh, you're still carrying on about that? <laughs> Listen, I'm really busy, you know? But you take care now. Damn, okay, so... So we can't ask her again. Well, I guess we could reload our last save, but I don't want to do that. But maybe the doctor can tell us something. Just tell the doctor. Could use some supplies, actually. I suppose I could spare some stim packs. Okay, we're definitely gonna buy antibiotics from her, so we do not need to visit her again when we get infection. Okay, so basically that's it. What? Antibiotics cost 195? Jesus, it's... Ah. It's so unfair, it's... Okay. Ah. Okay, you know what? Antibiotics are important, but they are not as important. So I'm not I'm not going to buy them. But I'm hey, still Doc. trying to talk to her. You got anything that ails you? I'll fix you up for a fee. Any news out there, doctor? If you want rumors, then Penny's the girl for you. I like to stick to fixing people. It's what I'm good at. Not today. Fine. Okay, okay, so it means that we would probably have run out Enjoy of people. We have probably run out of people that we can ask about it here in the here in the covenant. So we will just venture and we will just see where. Okay, we will ask Dan about sins. But first we will go to the northeast and try to search for clues where this destroyed caravan was. Okay, so north, northeast. Just I remember one important thing more. We need to... Okay, buy pistol. Which should be somewhere here. I wonder if they were attacked after they left Covenant or before, because if they failed if they failed that test, it means that they might not have been in Covenant at all. So that would mean that would mean that they were okay where is this place or, oh this way so this is a bit oh okay so this this might have been the caravan was hit awfully close to covenant all right yeah there were like they were really close hmm Fred O'Connell. Okay, we can't run. Dog meat, you need to. Hey. You need to take some of our supplies. Okay. 
them they do they they did went to Covenant because they have Deezer's lemonade. Deezer's lemonade, huh? The caravan definitely stopped in Covenant. Okay. Okay, so they did enter. You know, I'll try just to I'll try just to grab everything here. I'll try to grab everything useful. Okay, and which way is? Okay. Yeah, it it will be, it will be a bit of a walk, but we can earn some money because we do not need some money for antibiotics and stuff. So we will just sell all this stuff in Covenant. Yeah, I know what you are thinking, guys. How we can, how we can sell this stuff to the guys that probably were involved into killing all these people, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, we do need some money and well, where, where they are. Okay, so this is Covenant, yeah? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so basically we do need some money. And while it is wildly suspicious that they were here, that they were attacked so close to Covenant, we do need some money, so we will just sell some of this stuff of this stuff to to Penny in Covenant and hopefully we will be able to see what was what happened here, what was going on. Yeah, so for a friendly neighborhood, they have far too much, or sorry, they have far too many machine gun turrets, a strong wall with some wire at the top. So this is just a bit, this is just a bit annoying and a bit worrying that, that they are so friendly, but they are so heavily armed. Yeah, so I think that we will, I think that we will follow this quest first because we do need to, we do need to know what happened here. You have a peaceful stay in our little town, Mr. Fitzgerald. You have a peaceful stay in our little town. Okay, how? So he does not want to talk to us. Maybe Head Swanson in. will tell us more. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. Hey Swanson. Head on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. <laughs> okay. So first, let's just head up to Penny and sell all their stuff. Hey. Okay, I'll need to take all the additional stuff from the dog meat. Okay, this is the shop. Yeah, this is the shop. Hey, Penny. Enjoy your stay. Enjoy your stay. Enjoy your stay. Come on, I Enjoy want. Enjoy your stay. I want to trade Enjoy with you. Stay. Awesome. So it it looks like I can't trade with her. Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. 
hope you found something on the caravan. Do you have any proof Covenant is involved with the caravan? I got one thing. They deny up and down that Stockton's men ever came here. But they most certainly did. There's no reason to bald face lie to me if they're not hiding something. I'll keep poking around. Do you have any other leads? No. If Covenant doesn't pan out, then I don't know where to start. Yeah. Cross that road if I have to. People here are real sensitive about synths. What is a synth? You must be new around here. Synths are synthetic. Hey, it remembers. Uh, sorry, it reminds me about uh, one really good uh, cyberpunk uh, fan fiction that I've le uh, that I've read about Life is Strange. I think it was called a Camera Eye, and it was really cool because it was uh, in the future, like 200 years in the future, and it was with. It was basically with uh, Chloe and Max living in the future, and uh, well, I, I don't know, I don't want to spoil you too much. I don't want to spoil you too much because that uh, that is a really interesting thing and you, uh, thick, and you should uh, give it a try. But it was hella awesome, and there were some cyborgs and sims there, so. Yeah, let's just try to sleep and hopefully Penny will change her mind and she'll be able to buy some stuff from us when we visit her next day. Yeah, so uh, a camera eye was a really good... I really shouldn't talk to you because I'm busy and all. Talia. Oh, I heard about you. You're the stranger. I make things. It's things for the store. Oh! I'm Talia. It's so nice to meet you. You sound handy. Sounds pretty handy. I don't want to be a burden. You're gonna like it here. Everyone in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. Do you have time for some questions? If it'll help, sure. Do you know anything about Stockton's caravan? No, sorry, they never came here. Hmm. Does Covenant have some sort of problem with sense? Sense? I, I mean, no. The test makes sure that none of those get in here. They promised. Swanson told me the test isn't perfect. An honest Dan is acting real suspicious. You think Dan is one of them? He, he has been asking a lot of questions. Oh, about okay. The so I, I stroke a nerve here. Dan all but told me he's working for the institute. I don't want him to hurt you or your friends. Oh my god! Oh my god! If he finds out about the survivors in the compound, then everything could be ruined. I yeah. have to go tell someone. Compound, compound. Okay, Doctor Patricia and Settler. Okay, I think I should not. I think I should not see this. Okay, so we know one thing we know about compound. Okay, what time is it? Six in the morning. Okay, so we still need to sleep for an hour or two. I hate this place. Sorry, Dan, that we had to draw some suspicious to you. You got anything that ails you? I'll fix you up for a fee. It's good to see your face. Okay. So hopefully Penny will be in better mood now. And she will allow us to sell all this unnecessary equipment. Otherwise, we will have to drop it or hide it somewhere because it gives us damage that we do not want. Well, yeah, that, that was really stupid what I said because generally we never want any damage. So. Hey, Penny, you 
here to shop? If not, I'm sure you've got places to go and all. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed your stay. <sighs> yeah, I want to sell something. Got. You won't find better quality anywhere. Okay. So actually this rifle is much better than what we were using. So we are going to sell this one and leave us with this. Okay, we do not need casual outfit, we do not need dirty army fatigues, we do not need harness, leather chest piece. Okay, and I think that we will leave all this junk with us because we can use it in starlight. Oh, sorry, I just, yeah, I should press R to accept, okay. Okay, and we are still over encumbered, so we need to okay. share some stuff with dog meat. Okay, so we do not have too much in terms of carrying capacity anymore, so I think that we will need to drop the stuff in Red Rocket or Sanctuary Hills, because we might encounter some loot and we do not want to leave it. I hate this place. Okay, so let's just save our progress Howdy. I hate this place okay and see what we can do now okay so I think that the closest place where we can drop all our stuff is starlight uh, drive-in so we will go there In Covenant, you can feel safe. so we will go to starlight and make sure that we have all our stuff dropped there because we need some free space where we can easily accumulate some other loot and items that we may encounter soon. And after we drop all the stuff we do need to research where this compound is located because to be honest I do not like the sound of it. I think I remember part of it from, from my previous playthrough because I, I, I did made I did made this uh, Covenant uh, quest uh, arc or quest uh, storyline, I don't know how to call it, once, but it was at the very beginning when it was at the very beginning when I played Fallout 4 for the first time and to be honest I do not remember much of it. I'm pretty sure there was some secret place where they were located but I don't know if it was a cave or something like that. So we can take this fungus, glowing fungus. Okay, we've... Yeah, we need to go in completely other direction. This is the wrong, wrong mark on my compass. This is the one, this empty one is the one that I need to follow. To go to starlight. Yeah, so here we've got some dead guy with jet. So this this is definitely the proof that drugs are wrong. So drugs are a bad thing. Okay, some wild dogs in there. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I, I did not expect that, okay. 
I did not expect that he got headshot. Okay, I'm not sure if we can... Can we jump here? Can we jump here? Yeah, yeah, we can. We nearly can. No, we can't. We need to get to the other side. Okay, so there is a mine here, so we need to stay clear of that. Okay, let's save. First of all, let's save. And now we can head to the workshop and we can... Okay, let's maybe try... Okay. So we managed to disarm the mine. And now we can leave our, our stuff in the workshop. Okay, I think I can leave laser pistol here because we only have two I have only two cells and this is useless. Okay, all these things are weightless. Okay, so we have accumulated quite... We have accumulated quite a number of... We have accumulated quite a number of some... stuff that we do not need at the moment and that weighs quite a lot. So we will leave some of it here and we need dog meat. Come on boy, come on boy. Heads and up. we need him to take some stuff from him too. Okay, we will drop all this stuff in here. Are all junk. Okay. So what we are going to do now, we are going to check if we can cook something, some additional meals that would help us. And then we will go back and we will try to find out where the compound is located. Okay, so we can roast something. What we can roast? Okay, we can roast some nut chops and some riba ice stick. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's get back inside and save for another time. I know that you are going to hate me for saving so often, but you remember from the previous episode, for, sorry, from the two episodes before in Corvega assembly plant when we had to repeat the quest three times because Chloe was dying, so... I'm not taking any chances now. Whenever I see some bedroll or some other stuff, we are going to save. Okay. Let's just see human error. Find the location of the secret compound. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, show on map. Yeah, so it can't be shown on map apparently. We can't we can't see on the map where this secret compound is located, so we need to go to Covenant. We need to go to Covenant and ask them very nice to to tell us where the hell okay, we need to we need to get around this bear. So we need to go back to Covenant and we need to sniff a little bit so now Chloe is a time to be nosy now it's time to be nosy and 
to get all the info you can get, all the intel you can get to make sure that we discover the location of the compound. So it is your time to shine, Chloe. Okay, I don't want to... I don't want to go again using this. Is there something interesting here? I don't want to go again using this water because it is radiated, so... No, there is nothing interesting here. I don't want to use water again to accumulate rats, so we will just go through the shore this time. Of course, we could cure it at the Doctor in Covenant, but I don't think it is necessary. I don't think it is necessary for us because we are packaged from lack of food. Okay, Chloe, you need to eat something. Yeah, so I don't think this is necessary for us because we should save our money uh, for the time when we need to buy something. But generally, during my playthroughs, I hardly bought anything in uh, in Fallout 4 because uh, things are crazy expensive and it's much better, much easier actually, just to create some stuff yourself rather than to buy it because things are too expensive. Okay, so here are some doors that we can pick, so maybe there are some answers here. Maybe there are some answers here. But I guess to pick these doors we need to wait till everyone is asleep. This place. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. So, what's the Institute? Ask three different people, you get three different answers to that. Wildly different. Most people believe the Institute's behind every manner of ill in the Commonwealth. Sister disappears, or you lose your Brahmin. The Institute. Settlement murdered in the middle of the night. The Institute. But I've never met a single person that has proof about any of that. But there's no denying synths are real enough. So the Institute's infiltrating us, and I doubt they're doing that for our own good. I found out about a compound. The caravan survivors may be there. Great. Now we just need to find it. If anyone would know where this compound is, it'd be Jacob. He runs this town. But he doesn't have the best memory. I saw him once reading a slip of paper while entering his password. Maybe you can find that. Oh, okay. So we do have some leads. We'll talk later. So we know that we need to find password to Jacob's terminal. Hmm. Is there... Maybe this password is somewhere here. Tape, battle clipboard...
Hear anything, Doctor? If you want rumors, then Penny's the girl for you. I like to stick to fixing people. It's what I'm good at. Hmm. Okay, we have nothing to be cured no, from. So we need to check who can have this. Enjoy your stay. Penny. You here to shop? If hmm. not, I'm sure you've got places to go and all. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed your stay. Yeah, she's not going to tell Do you us have anything. Time for a few questions? Well, I don't know. I'm awfully busy. Make it quick. Hmm. Could you tell me anything about the compound? Compound? Who said anything about a compound? <laughs> you know what? I, I really am very busy. Okay. So she definitely does know something. She definitely does know something, but she she will never tell us. Okay, so what we can do? Sure. We don't tolerate violence or Okay, what we will do is we will try to break into that closed house. 3 p.m., 9 p.m. We'll try to break into that house and hopefully we will find some answers there. Because I'm not sure if we can extract the information about the compound in any other way. I hate this place. It's good to see a new face around. Okay, so he does not have this slip of paper on him. Can we? Can we pick these doors? Come on, Chloe. I hope that you'll make it a bit better and faster than in Blackwell because you do not have Max to help you. That's a serious lock. We need to find a key. Let's hope someone's been careless. Sorry, Talia. Sorry, Talia, but I did need that password. Okay, personal fires, Swanson. Swanson keeps to himself, he works directly for the compound and administering the test and as such I have no idea who he was or how to help him. He keeps himself strictly apart from the community whether that's his orders or temperament has to say. Hmm. He has files for everyone.
Okay, so T. Huntley knows about the compound, where the compound is located. Okay, so somewhere near the fisherman. Okay, let's start with sleeping for some time to save our progress. And at least now we will be able to... We will be able to track down people entering the compound. But first... Something to eat. Yeah, today stole no something. Place, I've got a mountain work to do. Try Deezer's fresh brewed lemonade. A is what? Jacob. A a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you regret. What rash decisions hmm. are you talking about? Maybe your next destination doesn't appreciate trespassers. Hmm. Play dumb, speak plainly. Knowing Chloe, she would speak plainly because she would not be able to. Or she would not want to. She, she could not be bothered to. To try to play some game. Hmm. I think we can stop playing. Just come out and say what you mean. Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound. So, hypothetically, let's say there's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, you just stop this investigation and I'll give you a gift. 100 caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend anytime. Okay, so Chloe does not have, in my opinion, she does not have enough charisma to to look for compromise. It would not work here. And she would never justify murder, she would never take bribe. How can you justify killing a caravan? It isn't as simple as all that. Hasn't our community been good to you and others passing through? So all I'm asking is you have a little faith in us. In murderers? No way. You can keep your caps. Please, just leave well enough alone. There's more going on than you realize. No, no way. No way. No one will bribe me to... turn my back to people that may need me. No way. Chloe is not like that. She's much better. After a long day, hey, Dan. Find out anything about the caravan? They took the survivors to a, a compound. They were in business. 
I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Okay. We need to get ready to enter the caravan, so saving our game. Parasites. Okay. We need to eat something. Okay, and what is... Okay, so this is our... This is the place where the compound is located. So we can go there. So Dagmit, are you ready? I hope that you are ready to kick some asses. Let's just hydrate yours, ourselves first. Okay. So Chloe is properly hydrated. And we can... Chloe is properly hydrated. And we can search for the compound. Okay, we could have just swim there, but swam there, sorry. But we will take the route around because every rod that we are going to get will limit our maximum health points and we will need these health points, I'm afraid. So we are just going back here, all around the lake, and then they will see that we are not someone to be messed around with. Okay, I'm just going to ignore these gunshots on the right because this is just some random encounter and we do have a quest to do. What the hell is this? Okay, this is a bit weird. This is totally weird, okay. And here's this fisherman. Don't scare the fish, asshole. Hey there. Go find your own fishing spot. Clear out. Okay, he's not very friendly. Okay. Okay. So we can start some business now. Get out of this water. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. Hey, Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. Okay. I'm not sure if they are going to be violent or not. But let's assume they are going to be violent, so we need to be careful. And prepared. Okay. I hope that they won't. Outsiders aren't allowed. Why are you here? What the shit? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So there. Damn. Okay, I, I seriously hope that we can just talk to them and just solve it in a non violent way. But apparently non-violent is not an option here. It's not an option here. Okay. Yeah, so we are back to Covenant. So 
let's just drink some water. Think again. Now we will save again so in case we are in case we die we do not need to eat and drink water again. Welcome. Okay and now one tiny settlement needs so much firepower. Yes. That's a very good question, Chloe. That's a very good question. Okay, so now we know that we can't, unfortunately, we can't talk our way into compound. We need to shoot our way into compound. But I'm quite sure that it's okay for Chloe because she, she likes to blow things up and shoot things. Whoa, there is even some... I had no idea there is some airplane here. We might want to check this out later. But now we need to find out what is going on in the compound. We know that they are not friendly and we know that they do not want any visitors. So unfortunately non-violent way is not an option here, but at least we have some guns, some ammo and stuff. Okay. No, it's not here, it's here. Okay, it's here. Let's go off the water. Come on, dog meat. Hey, Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. Okay. So what we know. They don't want strangers. that we can take the short combat rifle here. Dogmeat, if you could just let me go first. Okay. This will be difficult. Okay, so now we only need to take care of this turret. Okay. How are you? Okay, so here... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there is someone else there. So we need... Need... 
Okay, we need to wait until our... We need to wait until our health is... We need to wait until our health is a bit improved, because now just one or two good shots could have easily killed us. Okay, so Chloe needs to wait in hide here before she is able to move forward. Yuck. But good, good news is Dogmeat is okay. Dogmeat is okay. First, let us check. Okay, so he, security hermit gives us better protection, so we are going to check to switch that. But covenant security armor, no, it's basically it's a lot worse than what we have now. So we are going to drop this, and we are going to drop this. So this is where we can... Damn! So I guess, due to unique name, he was some important character. Maybe Honest Dan should not have killed him, but... Well, what we can do now? Okay, come on, dog meat. Let's go the real slow. No sign of the caravan yet. They've got to be holding them someplace. What the hell are they doing here anyway? have some hollow tape we need to play it where am i no 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 how are the subject vital it's a little unsteady but within who who are you what what oh, son of a bitch do that oh. Speak only when spoken to. Please continue. The subject is ready for baseline testing. Subject, answer the questions quickly and with what first comes to mind. You're approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Is that... that safe test... <laughs> answer the question. Holy shit. I, I, I don't know. I don't know science stuff. I... Ignore him. Ignore him, you say. Oh, fascinating. Holy shit. So they're torturing people to get... to improve their safe test, for fuck's sake. Okay. Now let's see what's further ahead. First, what is exactly here? We need to be really 
Looks like they repurposed some old world sewers. I don't like the sight lines here. Plenty of opportunities for an ambush. Chained up on the other side. staying here hoping that someone else will go here don't want to expose ourselves it could be useful for some for a change Another way around. Guess it was nothing. Boy, just can't let Find him. What? Who's out? They're probably somewhere here upstairs. We need to be extra careful. extra careful because we have no place to save here.
Okay, thanks God. Okay, so now now we can save our progress. So now we can save our progress so we can be a bit more brave in our further endeavors here. Because if we got killed before we would just get back to compound. Sorry, to, to covenant. Baseball bat. Okay, so this this is going to be Chloe's favorite melee weapon, I'm sure of it. Okay, let's see this. I really hate stuff like that. I, I really I really hate stuff like that. I hate when someone tries to hurt other people. Especially in such a way. Okay, there is a machine gun turret. people and trying to torturing them to get their answers to the stupid the stupid test
confidence on subject 12 is high. We'll know for certain post-mortem. And any progress on question 3? None. The EKG shows nothing unexpected. The answers are too damn predictable. You've made your opinions quite clear on the value of question 3. Removing it could invalidate all the data we've accumulated to date. Moving on. Question 4. The data on this is fascinating. Why does baseball have the highest degree of correlation? Even more than question 8? Our methodology was exhaustive. Subject 12's answers in regards to baseball and his childhood were particularly fascinating. See here and here. I wonder, do they play baseball in the Institute? Or is there some sort of defect in their program? We need another failure to explore this further. We can do nothing more with Subject 12 except final processing. I'll let the reclamation team know. Fucking bastards. There will be no mercy for them. No fucking mercy. Not after what they are doing. Just let us save again. Okay, so this is the entrance we've been in earlier. Yeah, including not stumbling into stuff like this. Is there anything here or this is okay? So, this is a dead end. So, we need to go this way. easier for me if he didn't get into the line of fire. confront her I want to check our back doors or however it is called okay so this is the place where we can 
before we confront the doctor. We will save one more time in case something goes wrong. life's work on the verge of ruin, all because of your efforts to find Stockton's supposed daughter. You do know she's most likely a synth, yes? If you are more than a hired gun, perhaps we can stop this before it's too late. Stockton's daughter is a synth? Why else do you think we attacked her caravan? After testing? We have well over a 70% confidence level of our initial diagnosis. I'd have to perform an autopsy to be sure. <laughs> 70% sure that she's a saint and that was worth murdering caravan, murdering other people, hurting them just to make just to make sure in 70% that she's a saint. You know what? Are you being silent? reason okay I'll let her I'll let her talk everything she wants to talk about and then all hell will Go break on. loose what would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child would you roll over and accept it or would you do something about it? she was not that sin I wouldn't torture her but I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like <laughs> it, but no, 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 no. As no, long no. as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. No. I've dedicated right. my life to devising a test to detect these hidden sins, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? You can't seriously want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do, but we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy. But through sacrifice and perseverance, sacrifice, our yeah, you can sacrifice yourself, you. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's sin and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you will offer. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Uh, 
I can say only one thing now. I will never, ever, ever cooperate with people who torture others, no matter what the reason, no matter what are their goals, so she can go fuck herself. That's a deal I won't accept. Then you'll just have to kill me. Of course. Sorry, but you did deserve it. Okay, too much. We need to. Dogmeat, can you. Can you take something? I know that there might be, that some of you might accept this offer and I, I don't mind it, but for me it was just, it was impossible. I know that this is, I know that this is only a game and of course this is not real, but, but I, I would not be able to look myself in face in the mirror. I would not be able to look into the mirror just knowing that I have accepted an offer from someone who tortured innocent people just to gain some psychological advantage to detect sins. It's, it, it doesn't matter whether these were sins or not, they, they feel the same, they feel the pain, they feel the fear. So it, this, is, this is something I would never accept. This is something I would never accept and what Chloe in my playthrough would never accept either. Okay, we need dog meat. I need to give you something. First, let's save. Let's save the game. Let's give us nice 12 hours sleep. So nothing of this will go away in case someone kills Chloe unexpectedly. Okay. Food, water, and then. Gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. It was Make good working good with you. Likewise. Glad you were on my side. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. In a pleasure. You holding out on me? They call me Honest Dan for a reason. That's exactly half of what Stockton agreed to pay me. Not one I'm sorry, I did. I, I didn't want. I wanted to. Less. I didn't want to. I wanted to press left See one. Bye. Bye. Okay. Now 
okay so this is this is where we need to go to oh and good news is we have leveled up we have leveled up so we can decide which interesting new perk Chloe should gain This would be useful for her gunslinger or gunslinger because pistols are her main weapon of choice. I think we can improve Chloe's endurance because we might need we might need this perk to get plus 20 maximum health it can be really useful so for now this is it okay so we need to save again before because now there is another fight for us because as far as I remember, because now I have remembered this quest, we will have a situation in Covenant. Basically, Covenant will no longer Covenant will no longer be friendly to us. They all be hostile. So we need to. So we need to go to the Covenant and we need to finish what we've started. Okay, so now we will have to make sure that everyone who was responsible for what happened in the compound so everyone in common basically everyone in covenant gets the justice served so they will all oh that's strange that the water does not give us any radiation now I wonder why it gave it used to give us some radiation earlier Oh, okay, okay, I see. I think that's because we invested that one point into endurance, so I think that might have improved our overall endurance here. Oh, oh okay. How, how is this even possible? They were so tiny. Okay. No. Okay, so we need to... So we went all the way back to this place. Yeah, we can't craft anything here. Yeah, we can't craft anything here because... Basically, we have nothing on us. Yeah, so we need to get back. Yeah, 
these Myra lurks were so tiny. I, I had no idea that they would that they would actually be any danger to us. But the good thing is that now we do not have to worry about that now we do not have to worry about the radiation damage due to the fact that we have this endurance or maybe there was some, just some bug we will just see now if we still receive radiation damage from the water or not so now we need to secure covenant we need to secure covenant now and then we will consider our request finished Okay, so we will go to slightly different place now. We won't go this way because we know that my lurks are there. We will go somewhere here. But we need to be very careful because now Covenant is hostile to us. So we need to make sure that we are ready to face any challenges that might may approach us. Okay. I think we will go this way because we need to hide ourselves before we start our operation. one down okay that didn't want too well okay we have mod of cocktail okay why we can't pick in a slightly different way so first of all let's sleep for another nine hours or so because we need to have a better view of what's going on I had no idea that people from inside of the Covenant will go to us and start fighting with us I only hope that we would have to face the turrets but apparently it's all hands on board situation when, where they just want to kill us as quick as possible so we need to be a bit more careful Chloe needs to be a bit more careful of course we could just ignore it but we do want to use Covenant later on we do want to use Covenant later on as our place Try this again. But first, we will do a 
something a bit different. We will place a bottle cap mine somewhere here. So hopefully when they are approaching us they will stumble upon this mine. Okay, now we need to go more out of cocktails. Okay, we may try to seriously need to heal ourselves really quick keep thinking what I can do to make it a bit easier to prepare okay let's let's do something a bit different let's try to sneak at them from the other side so they have to go to us along the walls this may be a bit better idea and it might give us an advantage that we need because in that way we would only be facing a couple of enemies at a time and from one, only one direction, so that might be. Better idea. And first of all... What? what what's going on? Oh, I... So it totally nearly destroyed us in terms of
Okay, let's check what is inside here. Because we might find some bed here that we could use and be a bit closer to our destination should we counter some difficulties. Can we access this? Can we access this house at all? Okay, it looks like we can't. Okay, so no saving for us, no no bed in which we can save unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, let's see where we are exactly. Okay, so we are here. Okay guys, so we will do... completely honest I'm not sure if we can I'm not sure if we can win a fight in Covenant right now because we are just having not the best situation So guys, I think that I think that we will skip Covenant for now. I think that we can skip Covenant for now because we need a bit more preparation for that and I really don't want to go into that all over again because it's like our fifth or sixth try. So we will do it that way, we will try one more time, only one more time, and if now it does not work, if Chloe gets killed, then we will head back to Sanctuary Hills or some other settlement uh, and we will leave, we will leave a Covenant for now. Because we just, I just don't want to waste your time just seeing me trying and Chloe trying to take over Covenant and dying over and over again. So we will try one more time and if it does not work then we will go to our settlement and we will wrap it up for today. It would be good if we were able to to finish today's episode with clearing Covenant but it not, might not be as easy now. So I'm not sure if we will be able to do it. So basically what we are going to do, we are try we will try to sneak to the backside where there are no entrances. We will try to disable the turrets and then we will wait for some potential attackers that can approach us. Damn these bastards again. Okay, 
we have bad luck with them. Okay, so let's try to take down the turrets. We need to wait till it rotates the other way. Come on! In the worst possible moment. Awesome. Okay, hopefully in this way we will not be detected until we approach the front gate and we will be able to safely clear place I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but... Okay. Okay, sorry guys, I need to stop for a moment. Okay, we are so not ready for it. Okay, we need to... We need to run. Okay, so Dogmeat is hurt and I'm pretty sure we are busted because I won't be able yeah. I hmm. forgot where which direction they can approach where the hell is okay they can go from this way this way So Dugmeat will be at Red Rocket. Damn, they are persistent. Okay guys, I think that this means that we should wrap up this episode because I don't want to I don't want to repeat it again. We've tried different strategies and we've failed. 
we've tried different strategies to no avail so it means that we we simply need more ammo better weapon better armor so now we will head uh, with dog meat into to one of our settlements probably sanctuary hills or a starlight and uh, then we will regroup and we will finish the covenant well we will serve justice to the covenant in the next episode because now it's just it's just pointless for us to try and try again because we simply have no we do not have enough power to to get rid of all everyone that is hostile to us in in that place so so it means guys that we will wrap it up for for today thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon in the next episode of Fallout 4 meets Life is Strange. Have a wonderful day and take care. Bye bye.